the house. Way to go, <laughs> team. I'm super pumped to be here because the last show that I did was in the daytime and I got heckled by a child. So <laughs> thank you for being here. I was talking about like how as an adult sometimes it's hard to make new friends. And there's this little girl in the front row, she had like a big purple bow on her head, maybe six, this nugget of a human, <laughs> right? She shouts out, I'll be your friend, <laughs> right? I was like, oh, thanks, what's your name? And then she went, never mind. <laughs> Kids are mean, <laughs> it's tough out there. I don't know, I was a dumb kid though. I used to practice kissing on my stuffed animals. Anyone else, no? I don't know, I was so nervous. I didn't understand, like, how do you kiss? So I just made out with my toys. I was like, that'll solve it. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of felt like I was living this double life though, you know? Cause like by day, my friends thought I was this insecure, prudish little girl. But by night, <laughs> my teddy bear knew I was a whore, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get home from school, pucker up, Mr. Bear. <laughs> Today we're gonna figure out what I do with my hands. <laughs> you know? Big day. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a weird year for me, like a lot of ups and downs. Uh, my best friend in the whole wide world, he stopped being my friend because I wouldn't have sex with him. Uh, that's a thing, he accused me of the friend zoning thing. You've heard of it, right, friend zoning? In case you're not familiar, friend zoning is a term used to describe a girl when she exercises free will. <laughs> Choices. Not a fan of the old choices. Um, but yeah, I've been bummed out. I've been doing a lot of things alone lately because of that. I went to a Jamba Juice and ordered a smoothie not to go. Ever done that? <laughs> yeah? Ever sipped a smoothie in-house? It's weird. <laughs> like, even the employees are like, does she know she can leave? Like, <laughs> This is uncomfortable. Um, I don't know. The other reason it's been a weird year is I started dating a lady, uh, which is great. It's only weird because I did not know I liked ladies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to, yeah. <laughs> thank you. So you knew, okay. Um, I had to call my entire high school softball team and tell them they were right. <laughs> It was like one of those times where like I really had to get to know myself and I, I didn't understand like how I could suddenly like a girl, right? Because my whole life I had dated guys, I had boyfriends and I was never pretending like it was real and I was trying to talk about it with my friends, like figure it out. And uh, my one friend was like, oh, well, you know, like sexuality is a spectrum. So, you know, you must be bisexual. Bisexual, that word, dude, <laughs> it makes everybody so uncomfortable. All it means is that men and women don't trust you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I had, to, I had to come out to my parents at 25. That was, whoo, you ever, you ever have to tell your parents something that like, you know they're not gonna approve of or understand, but you take a step back and you really start to like admire the courage and bravery of the Menendez brothers? Anyone here? <laughs> oh, if only I had the guts, <laughs> you know. No, it's fine, <laughs> they're alive, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> Thanksgiving will be uncomfortable. Um, but no, we're, we're better now. Like it was hard at first, but we're good now. And I feel for my parents, like it was hard for them to understand, I think. Cause when, when you come out as bi, like your allegiance is questioned, right? Cause like straight people think you're just going through a phase. <laughs> Gay people think you're just experimenting. It's like each side thinks you're a spy. <laughs> like giving away their secrets. As if I hang out with a bunch of straight people, then report back to the lesbians. <laughs> their weakness is also their mother. <laughs> I don't know. 
But here's a fun thing uh, about being bi. This is fun. You get to be a virgin twice. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm laughing. I'm laughing, but I'm crying. Because <laughs> it's like prom night again, but as adults, <laughs> it's very scary. I was so nervous. Like, I'm like, oh my god, it would be like a girl for the first time. Like, how do I do this? I was so nervous. My friends did not understand. They're like, why are you so afraid? Like, you're a girl. She's a girl. You have all the same parts. <laughs> yes, but a car doesn't know how to drive a car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you guys so much. That was great.